Hi guys, I'm Moira and today let's talk about my song Patawad was originally an English song. It goes, I hope you don't forget about you. Hold on to what's left to what could have been. Just a little longer till you set me free. Have you really reached the end? I'm a stranger once again. So that was it originally. And then I let Jason hear that chorus. And the, the verse, I think the verse was It's over, game over. forgot. But it was supposed to be English. And I never finished it. And I let Jason hear it when we were still friends. And I have a lot of songs that have been left in the back burner. And then last year we were already married and we were driving and then he starts humming. And I was like, I'm going to share it with him. I'm going to share it with him. I'm going to share it with him. Okay, Adele Ata. Adele, I don't know, what's that? I know the song. Then he sang my entire melody. And I'm like, do you remember that? But I I told you about it long ago, like years ago. Telling you, oh my gosh, tutoyan. But it wasn't as strong in English as it would be if it was written in Tagalog. And then when we decided to put a trilogy together and we'd write Patawad Pahalam Pahalam and then Patawad. We thought, what if we put the Tagalog lyrics to that? Balang araw kung paglisan lang ang paraan. First was Patawad Paalam. That was with uh, I Belong to the Zoo. And we wrote it in the hallway of our condo. Kasi nalakad kami sa bahay. We started writing it there. And uh, we wrote it together with my husband, Jason. And it's about um, two people who love each other but don't see eye to eye anymore. Paalam, which is with Ben and Ben, which we also wrote in our house, uh, is about accepting and agreeing to disagree. It's a song that acknowledges that what is in the past can stay in the past. And then Patawad, it's about forgiveness. Um, mas madali umalis kesa pagpatawad. And a lot of times that's what happens. You know, we can we can forget about it, but we haven't forgiven. Na malilimutan natin dito kung ano talaga nangyari, pero dito mahirap. So, parang ang daling 
ang daling umalis, ang daling mag-iwan lang ng tao nang hindi ka nagpapatawa. Um, and ang, ang hirap din patawarin mo sa So, the original title of the album was supposed to be Baala. But after much thought and after listening to the entire album, we realized that while saying goodbye can often be a brave thing to do, the braver thing to do will always be to forgive. Because that's that requires more courage. You know, you don't have to stay in that person's life. But you may be doing yourself a favor. So this is Patawad. Um, it's the last song on the trilogy of Paano nalimutan ang lahat ng kahit konti walang pasabi? Paanong nalimutan ang banggitin na nagbago pala ang pagtingin? And with this verse, a lot of us go through misunderstandings and miscommunications in relationships. And minsan, sometimes we find that the only reason why people stop is because napagod sila. Napagod intindihin, napagod what makes sense of everything. But the relationships that stay and that power through are the ones that constantly point to you, your blind spots. Okay? Out of love. Diba? Hindi naman pwede makikita mo na may ahas na sa likod ng mahal mo tapos aalis ka na lang and you won't point it out. Um, it's really like that. That's what I've been learning in my marriage. It's constant communication. Bakit hindi mo binanggit sa harap ko? Bakit hindi man lang sinabi na nagbabago na pala yung pagtingin mo sa'yo? Wala na rin naman kahit nabalikan. Wala na ang tamis ng ikay na hagkan. That line, it talks about trust being broken. And it it talks about uh, ang trust kasi sobrang hirap ibalik kapag masira. Yung kahit balik-balikan mo yung moment na yun, when trust, when you subtract trust from a situation, it's never really the same anymore. At sa huling paalam na intindihan na sa ating dalawa may ibang nakalaan. A lot of times when trust is broken, we, when that person is meant to be with us, we understand that it's really a communication thing. It's easy to forgive, it's easier like that. But there are people in our lives that are not meant to stay with us forever. There are some goodbyes that it's really good time. It's a period. It's it's um the end of a season. Paano burahin ang sandaling na igulit sa panagin? At kung sa pagising ko ikaw pa rin ang nasa isip, hindi na maitangki. That line is talking about the hopes na nawala dahil nawala yung trust. Yung hope na nawala dahil umalis yung kasama mo mag-hope. And then, of course, again, and then the last chorus, and then the bridge, patawad, paalam, patawad, paalam. So it's sl slowly reciting the end of an era. So there's patawad, paalam, and the, the yung ending, the paalam, yung pag-alis, and yung patawad, yung pag-patawad. And then the last chorus is, patawad kung ikaw ay aking nasaktan, hindi ko nabigay ang iyong kailangan, at ang huling pangakong may inibigay, sa ating dalawa ay wala nang sisihan. Patawad pa alam sa ating nakaraan. That whole chorus. Marami kasi meses na mahilig tayong magkampihan. Parang halimbawa may nag-break, ah, dito ako sa girl, ah, dito ako sa boy, ah, dito ako, ito yung mali, ito yung mali. Pero hindi natin naisip na baka minsan walang mali. Baka hindi lang talaga sila meant to be. Alam mo yun, ang hilig natin mag-point fingers, ang hilig natin manisin ang kung sino-sino na ikaw kasi ganito, kaya ako nagawa to kasi ginawa mo to. It's so easy to do that. But sometimes we forget that what if no one was wrong? What if we weren't just we weren't just right for each other? Because that person, yung nakasakit man sa'yo, he's gonna be right for someone else. That person is gonna be good for someone else. That person is gonna get it right for someone else. So just because that person hurt you, and I'm not saying that tama yung nagawa ng tao niyo kung ano man nagawa niya, but hindi lang talaga kayo ng work. And so, kung i-end niyo and you're gonna move on, better as well move on with dignity, knowing that 
the best gift you can give that person is the chance to start again. Mm -hmm. And that's for but not. So the whole album has uh, 10, 10 songs. And the last three songs is Patawad, Paalam, Paalam, and Patawad. So it's the it's a trilogy. We have a lot of trilogies in movies and trilogies in you know books, but we don't really have a lot of trilogies in songs. And so I wanted to try it out, and I really I'm really really proud of what we've done. It's not really the typical songs that I usually write, mm -hmm. but. I'm happy because in, in the last three songs of the album, I got to practice my storytelling. There really is no formula, but for me, the greatest key is authenticity. It's so hard for people to relate to a song when they know that you were just trying to people please. You know, when they know that it's you wrote it because it's what people want to hear. Other than you wrote it because you felt it. When you write it to express and not to impress, it really makes a huge difference. There was a there was a song that I wrote to impress people. It it didn't make it. But the ones that I wrote after a breakup, I wrote it after I felt defeated. I wrote after I felt in love. Just Malaya and the Guta Goan and the Buan. Um, I wrote a wedding song and I'm very eager for the wedding and to say go at the home. Um, I wrote Patawad after a year of not knowing how to forgive myself. Um, Patawad Paalam when you have different views but no one is wrong. You know, both are valid. And so we wrote Patawad Paalam and Paalam. And I wrote Sabi ng Lola when I missed my Lola. I feel like the most effective songs are the most authentic ones. And when you, if you wanna make it, if you wanna be able to reach out, because there's a difference between wanting to be famous and wanting to reach out. There's a difference between wanting views and wanting to encourage people. So, there, I think you, you'll know which path to take, which one you want. How you Hi guys, thank you for listening. Um, that was the story of Patawad, and I hope you appreciate the trilogy that we made in Patawad, Paalam, Paalam, and Patawad. Thank you.